question 13 then, the last question in the 2022 advanced hire paper to nine marks, related rates of change. That's just the change rule, obviously. Now, it describes the situation, which is fair enough because it's a physical situation, it doesn't involve any people or so on. A security spotlight is situated 10 metres from a wall. The spotlight rotates at constant speed, so that speed's constant, but obviously the spot of the light that's accelerating away and makes one full revolution every 12 seconds. The rest of it's just described in that picture there. Show that d theta by dt for one mark is 6 upon pi radians per second. Well, that's fairly straightforward. d theta by dt, that's the angular velocity of that spotlight. And since that's constant, that'll just be the angle divided by the time it took. So it did 2 pi radians in 12 seconds, which means d theta by dt will be pi upon 6 radians per second. I could put per second, or maybe I'll do the wee seconds the negative one. That gets a mark. Now part two. Show that dx by dt, that is the speed of this spot, which is going to change of course, is given by this expression, 4 marks. Well, if you want dx by dt, then just form an appropriate chain rule that will construct it. So you could get dx by dt if you had dx by d theta, given that you know a connection between x and theta, and you do from this triangle here, there's a simple trigonometrical connection, and then multiplying that by d theta by dt, which you already know. Now, stating that gets a mark. So what is that connection? Well, it's just a right angle triangle. x and 10 make the tangent. So x equals 10 tan theta. Now, for some reason, that gets you a mark. Not only that, dx by d theta, just for differentiating that, which you just find from the front, is 10 sec squared theta. That gets a mark. They're just throwing them at you now. I suppose I had these marks left over at the end of the paper and they just, oh, just have them, have them, have the marks. Now, feed that into this. dx by dt is going to be, well, dx by d theta was 10 sec squared. You knew d theta by dt, that was pi upon 6. Well, it doesn't take an awful lot just to cancel that down to 5 upon 3. So it'll be 5 pi upon 3 sec squared theta, and that'll be metres per second. There's four marks. Now for part B. Prove that 1 plus tan squared theta is sec squared theta. Well, there's two ways you could do it. If I just take it at face value from what I've got here and setting it about the appropriate way you show an identity, I could say this. The left hand side is equal to 1 plus tan squared theta, so that's 1 plus sine squared theta over cos squared theta. If I add that up, I'm going to have cos squared theta plus sine squared theta all over cos squared theta taking that route because I can see that I want to transform this sum of two parts into a single thing. So instead of having these two parts, I made them into a single fraction. And then the top simplifies to 1. So it's 1 over cos squared theta, which equals sec squared theta. So that equals the right-hand side. So QED, 1 mark. You could also have arrived at that result rather than starting with this identity just by saying what happens. If you've got sine squared theta and cos squared theta, you know that makes one. Dividing everything by cos squared theta. Gives you sine over cos is tan, that's tan squared. They're both the same, that's one, and that's sec squared. So you could have done that as well. Now the last part. Hence or otherwise, find the exact value of 
dx by dt, the speed of the point P, when P is 5 metres from G for three marks. Well, since I've got the expression for the speed in terms of sec theta or cos theta, remember sec is 1 over cos theta, all you've got to do is figure out what's theta or more specifically either tan theta or cos theta equal to when that's 5. Well, straight away, those two make tan. So you could say this, well, tan theta is the 5 upon 10, which is the half. And you could use the relation given in part b by saying, well, that means that sec squared theta will be 1 plus tan squared theta, which is 1 plus a quarter, which is 5 upon 4. Now, that's already two marks. You're getting one mark for saying tan theta is 5 upon 10, which comes to half, and you're getting another mark for then finding sec squared theta from it, using that. So the last part is, what is dx by dt? Well, it should be 5 pi upon 3 times sec, I'll just put it down, sec squared theta. So it's 5 pi upon 3 times 5 upon 4. So that means it's equal to 25 over 12, 25 pi upon 12 metres per second for a mark. Of course, alternatively, you could have got to that without needing to use this connection because you could have got sec straight from that diagram. Sec is the inverse of cos. Now, in that diagram there, I'll just simplify this little triangle here. There's theta, it's not very well written. The ratio is 1, 2. So using Pythagoras, that makes that root 5. Now, the cosine would be adjacent side 2 over root 5. So that means that the sec is going to be root 5 upon 2. In which case, sec squared would be 5 upon 4. And then you would just proceed as before.